oftentimes when you set up an automated cart or shopping system on your site and you're using PayPal, you're going to need to provide some additional information. Usually that's either an API key or you need to enable an IPN. So in this video, we're going to do both so that you will know which step you need to take. Let's start with the API. And what you need to do is you need to log into your PayPal account. Now granted, you should have a business account. So what you want to do is you want to go to the tool screen and you can find that once you log in under tools. And if you go to all tools, it will take you to this section. So on the page somewhere there should be an option for API credentials. You're going to want to go ahead and open that. And that is going to bring you to a second set of screen. So most times with the API, you will choose this NVP SOAP integration or the classic integration. And what you do is you click on the Manage API Credentials. If it is not enabled, it will ask you to do so. If it is enabled, what you're going to need to provide are these three key pieces of information, the username, the password, and the signature. And to get those, you just click on the Show section of each. So now that you have your API, you need to send it to the person who requested, and you don't want to do that by email. So here's a nice little app to help you send anything securely. So you're going to want to go to 1TYME, which is one, a one-time encrypted email that will send your information. You just enter your information here just by typing it in or copy and pasting. Um, if you want to be sure that whoever got it opened it, you can do the notify me and it will ask you for some in additional information. And you're going to click on generate link. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a link that you can copy and send your information to. And this is good with any type of private information that you want to send. So that's the API side of setting up. What happens if uh, they start talking about an IPN or asking you to configure an IPN? So what you want to do in that case is you're going to click on the gear and that's going to take you to some settings. And the easiest way to find it is just type IPN in the search and it's going to bring you up to the instant payment notification, which is what the IPN is. And it is a URL that is a notification that says, hey, you know, information is being sent to PayPal from this application. So if it's not enabled, you're gonna to need to turn it on. Um, and you can do that right here in the turn on, turn off. If it is, you want to just double check and see whatever that IPN key is matches what the requester has asked you. If it's not, you can go ahead and you can edit the setting in here and pop in uh, whatever it is that they gave you for the notification URL. Go ahead and save that and then you can just let them know that that has been turned on and you don't need to take any other kind of action for um, enabling the IPN.